Today, we're checking out one of the most anticipated and popular power stations of 2025, the Anchor Solex F3000. This just isn't another portable power station. It's a serious contender in the home backup and van life market. And although I'm late to the game, I thought it was important to test this thing out and take some time doing it. I never like to rush my process so I can bring you the best possible and thorough review on any product that sits on my table. I'm gonna walk you through what you get, the features that are included with the F3000, provide you some real world testing results and any quirks that you might wanna know about before spending your money. Determine if this is the right power station for you by the end of the video. Before we get started, if you wanna sign up for some free giveaways, go check out my website, thesolarpit.com. Go give it a look because once you get signed up, you'll be eligible for current giveaways and all future giveaways. Good luck in advance. Out of the box, you'll receive the F3000, a 120 AC charging cable, a high voltage DC solar cable, warranty card, and the manual. Unboxing this little buddy felt like pulling a small safe out of a box. At over 90 pounds, the Solex F3000 isn't pretending to be portable in the traditional sense. Overall dimensions are 26 inches wide, 12 inches deep, and 15 inches tall. And possibly one of the smallest in its class though. And the design makes it manageable. Integrated wheels, an extended handle, and even has feet so you can use it in either the vertical upright position or the horizontal orientation. Just keep in mind, if you run it vertical, the side ports aren't really practical because you'll be putting stress on those connections. I think it's ultimately designed to be placed horizontally. Still, it has a clean, sleek, and modern look to it with a bright, informative display that's easy to read indoors and outdoors. Ports are laid out logically. You get four standard AC outlets, including the coveted RV plug, the TT30R outlet with higher amp options. And that's a must have, in my opinion, if you're gonna be connecting this to a transfer switch like I did. There are two USB-C ports that can output 100 watts, two USB-A ports, a 12 volt 10 amp car socket, and a 30 amp Anderson plug. In my opinion, that 30 amp Anderson plug is much safer and preferred since it's more flexible for DC systems over that car socket. It can be adapted down to two car sockets if you absolutely need one, but it's really nice to have them both. Now here's the real kicker, dual solar inputs. That supports a massive 2,400 watts of solar on the low side of 60 volts at 800 watts max, and on the high side, 165 volts at 1600 watt max. During testing, I got close to maxing this out, and that's rare in a portable power station due to configurations. Now, if you combine solar and AC charging, you can bump this up to 3800 watts of input and get this to a complete charge in as little as 45 minutes. That's insane for a system of this size. One limitation worth mentioning though, is that this isn't designed for the standard 12 volt car socket. There's no built-in limiter. If vehicle charging is important to you, I'd recommend the alternator charger. Anchor Solex actually has one coming up in their lineup soon. And depending on when you're watching this, it may actually already be available. One thing that I like to cover in my reviews on these portable power stations are how they connect to an app. Anchor Solex has a dedicated app that pairs to the F3000 via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, giving you full control monitoring at your fingertips from anywhere in the world. Through the app, you can check the battery percentage, the input and output wattage, estimated runtime, and even see the history of usage. You can also adjust settings like AC priority, set time of use charging schedules to help lower your utility bill, and turn on AC DC outlets from anywhere remotely. It's smooth, responsive, and makes managing a power station of this size much more convenient, especially if you're running multiple loads or have it connected to solar. Now let's talk specs in plain English. The F3000 packs 3,072 watt hours of battery capacity in a LiPo 4 battery. That's enough to run a refrigerator for several days or multiple appliances at once. Rated at 4,000 cycles to 80%, giving you more than 10 years of daily use. But remember, that's still 80% remaining, meaning you have many more years of usable life even after that. 
In my AC capacity test, I was able to squeeze out 2,826 watt hours of the rated 3,072 watt hours of capacity, giving this a very high efficiency of 92%. That's in the elite class of power stations, no matter what size. If noise pollution is important to you, like it is to me, you're gonna be pleased to know that this one is virtually silent with modest loads and rather surprisingly quiet even under max loads and max charging inputs, which is extremely quiet for this sort of workload on an inverter. If needed, you can expand one single unit to 12 kilowatt hours of capacity or two units to 24 kilowatt hours of capacity. The F3000 is paired with a pure sine wave inverter that delivers 3,600 watts of continuous output. And if you need to power 240 volt circuits, you could pair a second one and push 7,200 watts of continuous output at 240 volts. That's approaching whole house generator territory without the fumes or noise. Actually, 7,200 watts could easily power an entire house in the winter if you have an alternative heating source like a wood stove. And to really put it through its paces, I connected to my transfer panel and powered multiple circuits in a simulated grid down scenario. That includes powering my 9000 BTU mini split that's in the office so we can stay nice and cool, the Keurig coffee maker so we can drink all the coffee that we want, the small microwave so we can heat up some food, all the lights so we can see in the dark, the ceiling fan so we can circulate the air, and the 85 inch television for no reason because I don't really watch TV, and yes, the old trusty heat gun that I use in all of my portable power station reviews just because I needed to add it in. And every appliance ran as expected. There was no trips, no warnings, nothing unexpected. And remember, that was with one unit. If you step this up to two units, you can either cover those 240 volt loads like a hot water heater or even a larger mini split. That's some serious backup power. I performed a continuous discharge test, getting this as close to 100% of the rated max output that I possibly could. From 100% state of charge all the way down to zero, it absolutely had no issues not overheating, no faults, no warnings that shut down the system and it performed just like it should. That is something that does not happen in all of these portable power station tests that I do. Sometimes they are rated at a max output and I test them and they can't do it. The Anchor Solex F3000 100% can run at max output from 100% to 0% with no problem. One of the standout features is how fast this system can recharge. It has multiple ways that you can do that also. So you can plug this into a 30 amp wall socket at 120 volts and charge this up at 3600 watts or through an EV charger with an adapter. You can top this off really quickly with AC. With solar panels, it supports up to 2400 watts of input through dual MPPTs and you can realistically recharge this in a single day. Combined with AC and solar, you're looking at a super fast recharge time because you're going up to 3,800 watts max input. So you can recharge this thing in about 45 minutes. And that's a game changer for RVers and van lifers, even really for regular home backup scenarios. Let's discuss the UPS functionality, and that stands for uninterrupted power supply. That means you can run sensitive electronics, refrigerators, air conditioners, or anything else that you can think of through it. And if the grid drops, the F3000 takes over almost instantly. In my test, the switchover happened very quickly without any disruption. Now, I don't have any high-end fancy testing equipment to perform this test to actually get a reading, so I gotta rely on Anchor Solex's claim of 20 milliseconds or less. And I can verify through real life testing though, that it was so quick that my equipment didn't even notice. So ultimately, this is a pass for me. Anchor also claims a standby runtime of 125 hours in AC mode with no load. I was able to verify the idle draw, which no load consumption, there's different words for it. With the inverter turned on, the AC power set to never turn off, and I made sure to turn off any smart features in the app that would automatically turn off those uh, AC outlets. And over 24 hours, this was setting at 82%. And if you compare it to what Anchor provides in their documentation, this equates to about 24.5 watts per hour in standby draw. Let's discuss safety for a moment because Anchor Solex remains focused on safety. With a built-in battery management system, or a BMS, you may hear it called, 
That offers protection against low temperatures, overheating, overloading, overcharging, over discharging, and leakage, offering you peace of mind in all situations. I did test the overload protection and the surge capabilities at the same time. In this test, which you'll hear the inverter working pretty hard, you'll notice that it surged up to 4,860 watts and held that for a few seconds before ultimately the overload protection kicked in and shut the system down. Perfect, that's precisely what I like to see. Let's talk about warranty and support. Anchor Solex offers a five-year limited warranty on the F3000. That's one of the longest in its class. And here's the thing, I actually called in and did a mock support test to make sure that I can get someone on the phone and someone actually did pick up. I know that might sound crazy, but with some of these lesser known brands and these portable power stations that are out there, customer service don't always pick up. You have to send them an email, wait a couple days to get something back. It's pretty reassuring that Anchor Solex was there to pick up the phone and answer my questions. Of course, there's some trade-offs. Number one, the weight. 90 pounds means that stairs and long hauls in areas where you can't use those wheels are not going to be your friend. Number two, if you're thinking of wiring this into a whole home setup, you're going to need additional accessories like a transfer switch or a transfer panel and possibly a second unit to supply those 240 volt circuits. So here's my take. The Anchor Solex F3000 is a serious machine. It's not for hikers. It's not for people that just want to charge a phone at a campsite. This is for homeowners, RVers, van lifers, or for anyone who wants generator level power without relying on fuel. If that's you, this is definitely worth a good hard look. It's near perfect in what I look for in a power station in this class. Hey, if you found this review helpful, be sure to smash the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I did an okay job. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, maybe consider subscribing, tapping the notification bell. So when I put out new videos like this, you get notified. Don't forget, head over to thesolarpit.com and register for my free giveaways. If you register now, you'll be eligible for the current giveaway and any other giveaway that I can do in the future as well. You don't have to come in and register every time. Once you're on that list, you're on that list. Just stay active and you're good to go. Hope to catch you in my next video.